This video is called Modeling with Photomatch, and it's kind of the second video in a two-video series that talks about using Photomatch, a new feature in SketchUp 6, to build models based on photographs that you might have taken or that somebody else might have taken. In this case, what we did in the first video, creating a new photo match, was match the camera position in SketchUp to be exactly the position that I was in when I took this picture of the barn. Okay, the good thing is that you don't really have to understand that concept to use photo match, but it, it kind of helps. So right now we're standing in SketchUp exactly where I was standing uh, knee deep in snow actually to, to take this picture of this barn that we're looking at. We're going to use the picture of the barn to build a model of the barn um, in photo match. Okay. First rule of modeling in photo match, don't orbit. Watch what happens if I orbit. So I'm orbiting right now. The photo goes away. What I need to do to get it back is click on this scene tab up here that's labeled uh, with the name of the photo that I use. So if I click on that, you'll see that the barn comes back, the photo comes back. Okay. Second rule, I'm going to use the line tool, is always start at the origin when you start modeling. Okay. So what we did is we positioned the axis origin right here on the corner of the barn. That's pretty convenient because I'm going to start modeling right from the corner of the barn. Let's go. I clicked there to start. I'm going to go up in the blue direction to right about, I don't know, there is good with me. And then I'm going to come over in the red direction. Now, it's no, um, it's no uh, coincidence that this is actually red. What we did in the last video, in the last step when we were setting up the photo match, is match up the red, green, and blue axes with the actual parallel and perpendicular edges in the photo. So. It's, it's, it's really no accident that this is red. I'm going to draw this edge until I come right over to there. And then I'm going to come down with the blue until I get a little inference that says I'm on the red axis again. Let's go like that. OK, cool. So what I've done now is I've created a little rectangle in space. And that rectangle happens to correspond to this face of the barn, just like that. Watch what happens if I orbit. When I orbit, you'll see that I have a rectangle in space there standing next to Bryce. And that rectangle is the same as the front of the barn. We'll click on the Scene tab to get that back. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is um, draw the rest of this, the front of the barn here. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, follow the third rule of photo match, which is never just start drawing out here in space. So if I start drawing up here or here or here, it's not going to work. I have to start on an edge that I already have in my model. And since I only have a couple edges to choose from, I'm going to pick this top one here. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and say, mm, that's pretty close. I'm going to come up here. Let's go over this way to there. And we'll come down just like that. What I can do is use the Move tool to just kind of move this edge to make it a little bit more accurate. There we go. Now it lines up with that edge. And I'm going to use the Line tool to determine these diagonals as well. So let's just click on here. And I'm going to kind of draw up here. And as I'm drawing this diagonal, I know that it probably wants to come about there. And again, this isn't really a science. It's just kind of trying to make things work. So let's kind of draw that. That's pretty good. Now, common sense tells me that this ridge of this roof piece is probably centered directly over this, this edge here. So I'm going to find the midpoint right there. I'm going to come up from the midpoint to about, I don't know, there or wherever it looks like it belongs to there. And then we'll just kind of draw an edge from here to there. And what we've got now is uh, a shape, actually a series of faces, until I use the eraser that I can use to just erase away these edges, just like this. Okay, And once those edges are actually erased away, um, what I have is a single face. So let's orbit. And when I orbit, you'll see I have a single face representing that barn that I modeled using the photo. Click on that Scene tab to get the photo lined up with the camera again. And now, here's kind of the first part of the magic. I'm going to click on the Push-Pull tool. And I'm going to push-pull this barn all the way back so that it lines up with the photograph, just like that. Okay. Now let's orbit, and you'll see I have a three-dimensional barn that I built based on that photo. Click on the Scene tab to get this back. But what I want to do now is I want to photo texture these faces based on the photos, uh, based on the photo that I had there. So let's go back up to Window. I'm going to choose the Photo Match dialog box. And there's this enormous button, if you notice. It says Project Textures from Photo. Watch what happens when I do this. Oops. I only had one face selected when I did it, so it actually only did it on the face that was selected. So let's make sure no faces are selected and click on that button again. It's going to say, do you want to overwrite existing materials? I had just pressed this before, so that's why it's saying that. I'm going to say yes. And when I do that, let's minimize this dialog box. Look what I have now. I have 
a model of a barn that's painted exactly with the photo of that barn that I used to build the model. I hope that makes sense, okay? And that's the basic premise of PhotoMatch. Let's just click back up here on that Scene tab, and I could kind of go nuts and keep modeling all I want right here. So I'm going to kind of go up and um, try and build this part of this roof by just kind of drawing up like that, and I could maybe, I don't know, bring this down parallel to this edge. It's really, it kind of all depends on how good you are with SketchUp, just like that. Oops, let's bring this one down to this edge, just like that, and kind of zoom in and make sure everything's lining up over here. There we go. And then I could kind of, I don't know, push-pull that back if I want to. Let's kind of orbit around and push-pull that roof. You'll see that it's, it's not an entirely simple operation to do this. I'm just kind of figuring things out as I go along. But let's click on this photo match thing again. There we go, the scene tab, I mean. And we'll make sure that we have a little face up here as well. So that's closed in. Click on that scene tab again. And now that I've got that, that geometry there, it's not painted with the textures again. So I have to go back over here and say project textures from photo again. It's going to say, do you want to overwrite the materials? Yes. And what it's done is it's actually painted that material that I had in the photograph onto there. So photo match is kind of a back and forth procedure. You photo texture a little bit, you model a little bit, you keep hitting this button to kind of go back and forth. And as you do that, eventually you'll get a pretty highly articulated 3D model based on the photograph that you were making. Okay, uh, that's the end of this video, modeling with photo match for chapter seven of Google SketchUp for Dummies.